Hello guys, so it's been a few days since I've put a video up, so I figured I should probably uh, put something up, keep the momentum going here. Um, so I'm putting up um, kind of a different kind of video today. It's, uh, it's pointing to some other YouTubers videos that have been shot of my rig because I realized that they're, even though their channels are larger than mine, significantly larger channels, there still may be some people that came to the, my channel by some other means and not through those other YouTubers channels. And so maybe you haven't seen these tour videos that these other channels did of my rig. And they did a much, much better job of touring my rig than I did with my own video. Because when I shot the tour of my rig, it was the very first video I'd ever shot and so the camera was pretty shaky the lighting wasn't that great the audio probably wasn't that great and so these two are videos that other youtubers have shot of my rig in my opinion are just much much better so that's why I'm going to link them right below here uh, there's three of them uh, one is nomadic fanatic who you guys probably all know or if you don't I mean go over and check out his channel so I'm gonna link specifically that video now what he did was he just did sort of like I think it was a four minute vignette uh, so it was a short tour uh, of my rig that he dropped into one of his other videos so it's like a drop-in segment to a video that he was shooting about other stuff also um, so my my that four little minute tour is at the beginning or close to the beginning of the video that I'm going to link below from his channel. And then there was a video that Evie Nova shot. Uh, Evie Nova and her boyfriend Into the Mystery 13. So he was kind of more behind the camera, um, but he was the one shooting the video. Uh, and he has a big YouTube channel, and she's got a, a, a YouTube channel that's also growing very quickly. Uh, so they shot a video tour of my rig, so I'm going to link that one below. And then um, I camped with Aja of Pandemonium at that recent YouTuber meetup that was at uh, Ocean Shores, Washington. And so she shot, um, I think, of every one that shot them, and I, believe me, I'm grateful to everybody that has done it, so I'm not trying to... Uh, I'm not trying to knock anyone's video shooting skills or anything like that. But of all the videos that everyone shot of my rig, I think Aja's, uh, Pandemonium that is, Aja's video was the best because it covered things that the other videos didn't cover. Uh, for instance, excuse me, my allergies are bugging me. Uh, but it covered uh, how the bed folds out, which I don't, I've never even shown that because I don't sleep with the bed all the way out and so I've never shown it in detail. But I did that in her video because she asked me to do that. She wanted it, wanted me to show how it worked. Um, and then she also uh, videoed how the dog kennel works. And I have also never shown that because um, I just haven't gotten to it. I keep talking about, oh, I'm going to shoot the, the dog kennel. Uh, but I haven't done that yet. So she covers that in her video. So of the three videos that were done... Hers is the most, uh, most in-depth as far as covering some of those details that haven't been covered by anyone else shooting my rig or even shot by me. I haven't even shot it. So check out those three videos. They're in the description below. Nomadic Fanatics is about a four-minute drop-in. Um, Evie Novas and, and Jed of Into the Mystery 13, they shot this, uh, the second video that you'll see below. And then Aja of Pandemonium, her video is also down there, and I, like I said, hers just kind of uh, covers some things that the others don't. But these are all great videos, and like I said, they're much better quality than the video I shot, because mine that was the very first video that I'd ever done when I shot my rig. And then I just haven't had the motivation, I guess, to go back and reshoot it all and do it all over again. So now I don't really feel I need to, because if you look at these three guys' as tour videos of my rig, they're, they're pretty good. They're pretty in-depth. So, enough talk. They're all linked right here below in the video description. Check them out. Let me know what you think. Or even go comment on their channels and let them know what you think about the work that they did shooting my rig. So I will uh, talk to you guys. Oh, and then the last thing is I'm in the middle. Ugh, allergies. I'm in the middle of shooting, or I'm not shooting. I'm in the middle of editing uh, my next video, which will probably be up in the next 24 to 48 hours. So it'll, it'll come up uh, quicker than the pace I've been putting videos up because it's already shot. It's mostly edited, but I still have to do some fine-tuning touches to it. But it was a really, really fun day that I spent with uh, someone that you're going to get to see. 
uh, working on their van build and um, it was it was just a lot of fun I have not laughed that much in a long time um, I don't know how it happened but for some reason it was just it seemed like one humorous thing after another so I did a lot of laughing which is very good for the soul and so I'm excited <laughs> I'm excited to finish editing that video and put that one up and so that will be the next video after this one and it should be up in hopefully the next 24 hours so I will see you guys soon on the next video and then in the interim let me show the pets because I know that's required there's Magnum now Magnum overexerted himself a couple days ago at the park and injured his his shoulder which he injures about once a year or so he kind of re-injures his shoulder um, and so the only thing to do is basically we uh, medicate him he's got like three narcotics three pain meds that he takes and then it's just a matter of um, taking it easy so he's been on pain meds for the last couple of days he's still going to the park I'm just not letting him run around and be crazy and I'm not letting him chase and play so he just basically has to kind of walk around like an old man but taking it easy taking pain meds and he's getting back to normal so each day he's improving it usually takes him uh, two three days to kind of get back to normal uh, and by the way since everybody's always so concerned about space and how do you fit a dog this size in a rig well I want you to observe you see how big the bed is and do you see how much of this dog bed he's taking less than half of it so that's how you fit a Great Dane in a space like this less than half his bed that he's using so tucked into a ball and then let's go up here what was that? What was that? That was a pretty weak meow. <laughs> I guess he's feeling lethargic today. He's he's not. I guess he's not feeling it today. Um, so I will see you guys on the next video. Uh, check out those tour videos that I'm linking below, and then come back in a day or so if you don't get if you don't have notifications turned on. Come back in a day or so and check out the uh, very funny humorous or at least to me it was to, to both of us it was pretty funny uh, the very funny day that we had uh, working on a van build so uh, see you next time guys bye